friends welcome back to lakshmi's beauty corner and today i have an another exciting new segment and it is drum roll please it's amazing art and creative craft in this segment i will be recreating some of my artwork and i'll also be showing you and teaching you some tutorials um uh, by the way it can be from art and also i'll be showing you how you can make some easy simple and cute and creative crafts so friends what are we waiting for so this is what we are going to be recreating today so i think you saw it and we can create it very easily is just with simple fine steps okay friends the first step is going to be but before that i'm going to show you what will be the supplies you're going to be needing so here it is first i have shading pencils right here from hp 2p 3b 4b 5b i mean 6b and 8b and this one is actually a stedler pencil 8b pencil this one has a high, a high dark definition so i'm using that or you can just use a normal 8b pencil then you can use either a hb or a normal pencil for sketching out and eraser and sharpener and also ruler if you want to have to have a border or it's your choice so now what are we waiting for let's get into it so this is going to be the first page i'm going to be drawing and i've already sketched out friends so this is the first step sketch it out roughly okay whatever that's going to picture be the picture just simply sketch it out okay and the tip here is to be very light and you got you have to just give the littlest pressure you can ever give like and for the border you see right i didn't have a normal border i raised the lines on the corners so this is how you could do it so as you can see and please don't mind my camera stand i can't do anything about it i'm so sorry about it i'm just trying to do the best i could here to give you the best quality video and now friends actually here is the bush so before the uh, you as you see you can't see it perfectly right because i just roughly sketched it out with the littlest pressure i could ever give to the pencil so what i'm going to be doing here is actually going to a darken my sketch a little bit so it is visible for me and you too friends and if you want to uh, know how to draw um, buffaloes cows and you know bulls you can comment down below in the video and there it could be and friends tada there it is and i'll show you the video on how you can uh, draw buffaloes and all that stuff, animals too so uh this is step 2 as you see and now you could uh, have a clear picture of what you're going to be shading on and darkening on and all that stuff so this is step 2 so as you see i've done that first of all as you see the bushes are here the next uh, beside them is also the rocks and the rocks can be totally and perfectly in, imperfect uh, and there are super okay rocks can be like that because they are really like that in nature and i have the um the bulls and the bull the cart and a man there and also the bushes around them and also trees yep the coconut trees are so cool and they are so fun to draw so friends what are we waiting for we'll get into it so before that i'm just going to be um showing you all that sorry for the shakiness though I was handling it one camera and on my hand and the other in my you know next one I'm going to be setting up my camera on the tripod so friends first we are going to, this is the third step the third step is going to be the down part of it as you can see the down a meaning uh, that whichever is down I'm going to be doing that So for this the pencils I'm going to be using is going to be a 6B a 4B and also a 2B. And the 2B is going to be the lightest I can ever use. This is actually a um a 6B pencil. I'm sorry if you can't see it correctly. It's because of the shadow or I don't know you think so. Yep. 
I think you could see it now. It's a 6B pencil. The next one, as you see, is a 4B pencil. And the last but not the least is going to be a 2B pencil. The 2B pencil, you could use it or just smudge the 4B pencil a little bit. So you can do it whatever you have in hand. Just give it the different amounts of pressure. And also the amount of graphite and carbon it is in the pencil is going to give you the best results. But you can normally just use a normal pencil. So what you're going to do is we're going to do some uh, lines that are going to be streaky with a 6P pencil at first. You can do either like this, but like this. But I prefer this way. So we're going to do like that. And please do not mind my way of holding the pencil. Um, since I did not understand when I was young how, how to hold a pencil or the posture of holding a pencil. So that's why mine is a di different and unique. So yeah. So see, as you see, so friends, as you see the streakiness and all that stuff. So, yeah, going over it with again um, and try not to do as getting over the line or getting over the border. And if you're not really a border person, just don't do borders. Just do it your way. It's just so unique and just so fresh. Okay. And friends, after this, since I showed you only once um the i uh, the bushes and i did not show you the others right i just repeated the same says but my footage uh, uh video footage has been gone missing so i'll be putting at the end on how it looked how i made the other parts and i'll also be mentioning what pencils i used again though so i'm sorry so sorry friends and as you know just smudge it out uh, for the 2b pencil or just 4B pencil smudge it up. This is your own unique way and you can do it anything you want. So with the graphite I smudge from the 6B pencil. I'll just go it over it again. And you could also just use a 2B pencil and lightly streaky lines there too. And friends, I finished them all, but I'll show you the footage later. Okay, I promise. So now go going on to the rocks. For the rocks, I outlined it with the 6B pencil. And then what I went is I took a 8B pencil and I went slightly streak, streaking. So I'll do uh, the shading uh, like a slanting. So that's it. And also do it one more for you friends. As you can see, just outlined it with a 6B pencil. Took a 8B pencil. Just did the same what I did before. And also on top of that with the 4B pencil. You can also use a 3B pencil if you want. It's just your own choice friends. Okay. Yeah. So um, just going to do that. And tada. There it is. Voila voila. So as you see. And for the gaps. You could either fill it with a 2B pencil. Or just leave it like that. Or just smudge it. It's just all in your opinion. And as you see, this is how it came out. It turned out so perfect, friends. It was like that same. And I'm just going to be following the same steps for the bushes on the up. So that is going to be the fourth step. Tada! There it is. The fourth step is finished friends i mean that is the upper part of what i did and the lower part of what i did now is going to be the middle and which i'm going to be doing the bullock cot and also the man and also the bulls and you may be wondering why those bulls look like that but i just go went with on that finish or you could just have a hawks or whatever so first taking a 8b pencil and a 4B pencil too. Also could take a 3B pencil if you want. And it's just your own opinion on it. And yeah. I'm just erasing out if I had any graphite marks there. And as a tip here friends. Do use a piece of paper. As your hand can get very easily smudged. So what I'm doing is. I'm just going on to the same streakiness here with um horizontally and the same this one is so satisfying to watch actually you know friends yep so as you can see i'm just going over it again and it's just your own uh, 
opinion right here so I went on with that and now taking a 8b pencil from Stedler and I'm just going to outline like a what should I say um, one is for outline and the other is for a shadow so then going over it with um lines with horizontally and vertically so as you can see then going over it with a pencil for the man I mean I'm showing kind of like showing like the inside how the inside looks you know and now I'm going over with the man and now we move on to him and now as you see he is um as you say a normal person I mean a normal not a normal person he is a farmer let's say or a bull cart um rider whatever just giving it give him a hat like thing and also for his clothes a little shading now coming on to the wheels i'm just giving a shading here from going on with the darkest to the lightest and i'm just giving him a shadow right there as you with the c um what should i say uh it be stella pencil and this one is also the same process but i'm showing the other side of the wheel so going over it there again and now moving on to the bull or the cows i mean i don't think the cows do that i mean a ox can do that though so i'm just outlining it as you can see so yep just outlining him um yeah and i'm going to do a tail though and then i'm just going to have given the same with the other one this here as a teardrop a year and that one as a leaf year or whatever I like to say but I'm just going to change on the year later since I don't like it much now it's much better and now as you see and the faces don't have to be the same you can make it the same if you want if you do not want it's totally fine and I'm gonna give the hoops a little black and as you see I'm also giving it a little shading for the them too and now for the tail the tail may look funny but it's totally fine it's your step now coming on to the trunks okay I mean the tree okay the tree's body i'm just going over it with just the same it be pencil but with a different speeds and different pressures at the same time as you see I'm just using that and now going on with a 8B Stedler pencil which has more hard definition. I'm just going to give it lines as you normally see on a coconut tree. And this one I'm just normally outlining. And the next other side is opposite side is having a shadow. So I'm just doing that there. So give it that and now let's do the same for the other trees. 3, 2, 1, go! There it is. So friends, now for the most exciting part I've ever been waiting is the leaves on them. Okay friends. So just start out with a simple borderline for the um, how the leaves should be. Whether they should be floating like they should be um in the breeze like it's your choice so first i'm going to go with the 8b pencil and then i'm going on the one side is 8b pencil the other side is a 3b pencil so you i hope you could get it there and if you have any doubts please comment down below and i could clear them for you too and if you want to see the final descent with a more clear view you could check out my instagram which is at lakshmi's underscore yes and underscore beauty underscore corner and underscore 20 yep so yeah i'll link it down in the description below for you and continuing with the leaf as you could see we are just going on as you see one is a little bit darker and the other is it and this is how it could be and if you want to have it just with the same um graphite pencil you could go for it and now for the coconuts i'm just giving them circles and circles circles can be imperfect if you want to but not too much imperfect right so yeah this one as you see i'm just adding in a little bit tiny leaves there so it could be seen too now also don't forget to connect it again 
to the leaf part and there too. Now just do the same. Two and one. Tada friends. Voila, voila, wow. It's totally unique and amazing friends. I love it. Now as you see this part is actually. So friends this was the st sixth step as you see. Now for actually we are going to do the what should I say crows actually. The crows as you see can be drawn this way. And if you want a different types of crow, I could show you that in another video. So just trying to do the best I could here. We normally would do like just a V, right? With the V, just add the bird's body. Then it's going to be super cool. Everyone's going to like it. So the birds are going to be step 7. And you could also add a little beak if you want. And I'm just going over it with the 8B Stedler pencil. This Stedler pencil has much more carbon than I guess. Because it acts as a dark definition. It really adds a dark definition to this. And if you want something like a shadow. You could also just use a black um, color pencil too. So see friends I'm just doing the same with the other crows. And I'm just going to be repeating them for you. See as you could see. And friends, if you didn't understand any other part, you could also comment down below and I could solve it for you or give you a solution for it. And I could try to explain to you too. And don't forget to subscribe for more unique videos like this. So I'm also adding the crow there too. The reason I didn't do videos much this week i was actually because i had exams and i still have exams going on and i just have three more exams and then i'm free and i could put more videos for you guys again so as you see yep this was it so i actually did this on friday but i had to edit it for two days and just releasing it today you know yeah so done with them what we're gonna do now you may ask so this one is actually going to be step eight which is going to be shadows and the shadowing is most important here what you're going to do is for the first is going to be the cows i'm just taking a 8b pencil and i'm going over with with little pressure as i go down And you could totally smudge it. It's totally fine though. And yeah. It's just so satisfying to watch it, you friends, you know. And friends, don't be disappointed if your work doesn't come out great. It's okay. You at least tried it, right? And now I'm just going to do the same with the wheels. And yeah. So now what I'm going to be doing is actually below the um, the bushes which on the upper or uh, there right upper bushes as you cannot see as it did not cover a cover it but i'll show you later in this video as you could see so as you see i did very little pressure here so i didn't do it as much as dark as could and now going with the 3B pencil or a 2B pencil, whatever pencil you like, but take it in the lightest definition as possible. So I'm taking a 2B pencil, I'm just lightly doing streaking it on the paper, as you could see. Then you just need to smudge it, that's it, you know. You could either smudge it with your hands or you could smudge it with a paper or a tissue too. And now I'm just adding a little more definition to them with a 3B pencil. So friends, there, there it is. There it is. Isn't it amazing? 
so friends as you see voila 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 and now as you see this was the step now i'm just correcting them this was the step eight you know yeah so as you see that really helped me the paper technique as i usually would do and now i'm just going to be winding on my signature actually i do not have a signature but it's just my name and i'm just adding a lotus you know i love it so yeah So I actually spent like four to five hours filming this and then editing it for two whole days, you know, just to have the perfectionism. So friends, that was it. And you could also like do any mistakes. You could correct any mistakes if you have, you know, you could do that if you want, you know. Just have a look at it. It's voila. It's gorgeous. And yep. Now I'm just correcting or going over it with a little more definition. And friends, I hope you like this video so much. And if you liked it, please share, subscribe and comment on this video. It means so much to me as you know. So this is the final product. So friends, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more unique videos on amazing art and creative craft. Bye friends, see you next time. Stay home, stay safe. So friends, fortunately I got this footage back. So this was where I did. And the pencil for the shadow I used is the same as um, the 8B pencil Stedler I was talking about. But you could also use a normal 8B pencil. And now let's do the third one. And there, boom. Now we are going to do the same. Boom. It's super cool. And you could just also use the same technique, you know. Um, the trick which I used. So when I'm just drawing, I could use a piece of paper. So it's going to be easy for me. And tada! There it is. This. There is so cool. There, It's just so super, you know. And you could also just make some adjustments if you want to you could correct your mistakes and it's totally okay and so friends yeah so friends hope you enjoyed this video and my friends stay home stay safe and friends so sorry for the long video couldn't do anything bye